right guys and welcome back um, I want to go ahead and do a quick unboxing it's in the bag you guys will see in a second here so went by uh, worldwide corals today and picked up a couple things um, and got one of the Hanna salinity testers here I haven't opened this so I'm gonna be going through this live here in a sense so got the package got the, the box and um, the reason I picked up the salinity checker here, just to tell you guys while I'm opening it up, is I do mix up salt water in a mixing container, and I've been wanting to just have an easier way to check it without grabbing the, um, the refractometer. I actually got two of them, they're calibrated, but trying to make, make everything a lot easier and more accurate, went ahead and decided, let me pick up one of these. I can check both the salinity and the temperature of the water in both and even in the tanks also too because sometimes especially with my lagoon I don't have like an apex or anything on it so I have a thermometer it's set to a certain temperature it comes on a dead temperature and as far as salinity again because I don't have the like an apex or anything like that I would have to grab a refractometer um, with this device here uh, it's pretty easy from what I understand you pretty much just plop it in the water it floats and you're able to go ahead and get a measurement right away from that so we'll see how this how this works out here just gonna check real quick make sure there's a battery in here I'll do that in a second but what you get is your tester the calibration solution Looks like a few of them, so that's pretty good. Good job on Hannah there, and we're providing more than just one. Um, not sure how often you have to calibrate this, but it looks like taking this out here, you got one, two, three, four, and an instruction manual here. Pretty sure that's on how to go ahead and get this thing calibrated, replacing the battery, uh, all the, the wonderful things that a manual comes with. So give me just one moment here. Let me go ahead and skim through this, see what we need to do, and I will we'll be right back. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to do that right now. Put a lot of chair here. <clears throat> see what we got going on. So we got battery replacement. I think it already comes with the battery. Let's see. Turn it on. So, yep. It's on. warranty let's see if we can get this open does it open up any further yes it does so we got information on the electrodes and all of the resolutions accuracy here we go here goes the meat of this whole thing preparation all right rinse off electrode in the lower section with purified water dry off press on and off button to turn on a tester after going through the startup screen the tester will enter the normal measurement mode <coughs> using the last select unit and <coughs> excuse me guys I'm a bit under the weather here which is why I, I haven't um, been doing a lot of videos here this week so let's see calibration and measurement Use a fresh calibration solution, such it. Okay, rinse the test through with purified water, calibrate. Now, uh, let's see. What I'm trying to see is do I need to place this in any in, in the water to get it up to temperature? What do I need to do? Do I need to put it in a separate container? All right, enter calibration mode. Uh, let's see. So, says do not uh, heat the solution by handling so they actually you don't even have to put this in any in any tank water to kind of get it up to temperature or anything like that it looks like it's really just get the calibration um, started up on this wash it off with some RODI water or some nice fresh clean water I would recommend using RODI if you guys have it um, and then do the calibration so wash it off dry it and um, get the calibration done. So let me pop this off real quick. 
so you guys can see that. Uh, it's a bit shaky here. Let's do that. There we go. All right. So real quick. That's pretty much it, guys. I mean, so let me go ahead get this uh, set up to do the calibration, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I went ahead and rinsed it off with some RODI water <clears throat> and we'll get this thing ready to do some calibrating here. Okay, so we got everything and here's that meter. Taking a quick look at this again. All right. <clears throat> that open. So I press the calibration button. See, we'll turn it on first. Battery's at 100%. All right, it goes calibration. It says use the uh, 35 PPT solution. So let's see, we'll pop this in. And I get error. So let's try this again. Okay, so it says REC, once the standard calibration solution is recognized, the REC message is displayed until the reading is stable. And once it's accepted, it will say STOR, or S-T-O-R, STOR. <clears throat> so I guess we'll give this a moment to read the solution. Let me make sure it's actually down in here first. You guys can see that it says REC for record it's flashing I'm just waiting for that to change so I'm gonna keep it level real quick just honestly wonder how long this will take here um, Try to move this around. Make sure there's no air bubbles in there. All right. So it looks like it says store. It read this at. There we go. Right on the money. Now it is in Celsius at the bottom, so I'll probably just look through the manual real quick to change that <clears throat> well, there we go 35 once I take it out it's pretty instant with the reading as far as the, uh, the salinity so if I press calibrate oh. turn it off Turn it back on. Now real quick, I just want to see how I can change the temperature uh, reading here. Select the temperature unit. To select the temperature unit, when set up is displayed. All right. Yeah, so it looks like I actually cleared out the calibration on this. Give me one sec, let me do, we'll go ahead and redo the calibration. All right, so I'm back. What I found out um, upon my haste, I didn't check the rest of the instructions here. And it looks like on the back, once you get the battery door off, there's a, a button 
that you gotta press. Let's get this. Right there, try to lock. And that's gonna get it into a setup mode here. Uh, so let's press the setup button. Back. And this is just a quick and nerdy review on this here. So, okay. Change the perimeters. Okay. You can change from uh, your SG for salinity. You can use PPT, uh, PSU, however you guys want to view the settings. So that's good. Um, I will leave it on the PPT. And I believe if I press this again, If I press the power button now, it'll change to the temperature where there's a small T that's located here, along with the uh, either so I can get this is in many of the Fahrenheit or Celsius. So we'll change that to Fahrenheit. So if it's not coming through right, there we go. And this is the auto off. I'm going to leave that. I believe the default on this is eight minutes. So let's see if we can change that and how far we can go. Looks like that was 60 seconds. So it's either eight minutes or 60 minutes where you can actually disable it. So I guess if you're testing a lot of uh, different batches and you don't want it to power off or recording some information, I'm going to leave it at uh, eight minutes here just in case um, that'll save on battery life obviously so we'll set that so that looks to be all set here as you can see it's reading the uh, temperature it's in the case right now so give me one second here i do have some uh some salt water and i'm going to go ahead and check that here in just a second battery door back on now because it's waterproof I can tell you this battery door is it's got a rubber gasket around it so that way obviously it keeps the water from getting inside so it is a bit stiff to get on and off so just be aware it's not stuck it's just nicely sealed So, what I got here, real quick, is um, I did get some corals and some fish from uh, Worldwide Coral. So, just as a reference, just gonna check that, see where we're at. And it looks like there is actually a, a, an hourglass that rotates and flashes here. And once that hourglass is done flashing, um, you're able to get your reading. So let's see, actually I'm just gonna drop it there since it, is, since it can float. You guys see the hourglass blinking along. There's the temperature. Once the hourglass is done flashing, then that should be a stable reading. We're just reading 24.1 at 77 and a half degrees. <clears throat> so let me grab some of my tank water here real quick. So I grab some of my tank water. Let's drop this down in here. I had to disable the, the apex. flashing and I'm making a mess on top of it too but 
on flashing here. It looks like when, if you move it around, it'll flash. But looking at 36.2, which is really right where my Apex says um, for that main system is where everything is at right now with the salinity. So that's good. The temperature is spot on. That's where I'm kind of keeping the tank at. So I'll rinse this off. And here comes the test because I've actually, I'm going to test the Lagoon. And I've actually been getting, I did check it last with the refractometer. And I was getting a, a very different reading on the refractometer. I was getting about 40 parts per million, uh, 40 parts per, per thousand. So go grab some of that water. And at least that tells me that my apex is reading uh, what it should. <clears throat> so here's the water from the lagoon. Put a light to stop flashing there. Actually, I think I need a little bit more water. It's not fully submerged. There we go. Yeah, let me put this on here. All right. So, kind of like what I expected. I think the salinity on that was a bit up and down and all over the place. So, um, at least the temperature is good on the tank. I uh, just need to get the salinity back to where I want it. And we should be good. But I just wanted to go and do this video here on the. Hanna Salinity uh, Checker and pretty much just point out, I mean, it's a pretty good buy. Uh, if you guys are looking for something that's gonna get you your temperature and salinity, especially if you're mixing water or if you're just unsure where your tank is at, uh, it is pretty instant with the results. Once you take it out, I would say rinse it off with some RO water and you'll be back. So pop that in you guys can see let me move this towel back here we'll take it out see read zero right away as soon as you put it in the water you're getting readings so that's how fast it is guys um, I do like it and I'd say if anybody's unsure of their salinity or anything go in and get it um, like I said before I was getting about 40 uh, PBT on the refractometer or 1.23 something on there um, so that's that's one of the reasons I did end up getting this plus I do have a mixing station <clears throat> in the garage and that will be a big help make sure I'm right on with the salinity even though um, I'm mixing the salt up and I know how much should go in there it'll be nice to know right where it should right where it's at when I go to do water changes so Again, this is a quick and dirty review on this. If you guys uh, like it, go ahead and leave a thumbs up in the comments below. Again, this is still the reading. I need to go and dump this water back in before the ATL kicks on and starts acting crazy. But other than that, like I said, go ahead and leave a comment below if you guys have one of these or if you're interested in getting one. Um, most of your local shops should have them. Uh, I got this one from uh, Worldwide. Uh, corals and I give it a thumbs up on this until then I'm out